know that the very poorest did not migrate, uh, and uh, certainly the best off didn't either, but we're in a way not concerned about them. Uh, but the poorest couldn't migrate because they had neither the ability to pay the fare, uh, nor did they have the kind of social capital uh, which would have been uh, a contact in America that would get them a job. Eventually there is, the government imposes a head tax, so people have to pay to get in. Uh, and while they were poor, they were not the uh, very bottom of the societies from which they had come. How about um, the Irish potato famine victims? They weren't poor? They were poor, but they weren't the poorest. And uh, in the case of the famine, the very poorest uh, were the people who died. Remember, a quarter of the population absolutely dies from uh, disease, mostly, as well as starvation. And um, so those, that quarter of the population that migrated, and while there were a few cases of landlords assisting uh, their tenants to migrate, so the landlord pays their fare, uh, most of that, the, the uh, that, that uh, huge uh, chunk of the population that came to America were people who had enough to pay for a, fa a fare, enough to get themselves started in, in America, to get a place to live, uh, to sustain themselves until they got work. Uh, so uh, um, they could, you know, again, poverty, like everything else, is relative. So why are we so wedded to this idea that they had to be the poorest of the poor to come over here? So this allows us to see America as redemptive, that America took the, um, the absolute bottom of, of Europe, um, the, uh, again, the wretched, the huddled masses, and uh, gave them, uh, with its um, liberty and its uh, untrammeled opportunity, uh, the possibility of remaking themselves. And it also for the uh, immigrants, particularly for their descendants, who, who did move into eventually the middle class, um, it allowed them to tell a story about themselves, uh, which was, we were, my parents or my grandparents were so poor, they couldn't even afford, you know, and look where I am now, I'm an accountant. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and we did it by ourselves. Okay, we pulled, and it's the um, almost tried to say, you know, bootstrap uh, uh, kind of um, uh, story. That that's obviously very important for people to say this about themselves. And uh, I think probably everybody in their own personal narratives, uh, when they've overcome some obstacle, they make the obstacle greater than it was. And so we can all. So I mean, I don't. I don't want to in any way um, undermine the importance of this in people's uh, kind of understanding of themselves. Um, but on the other hand, it has pernicious effect because uh, one can then look at the uh, newest immigrants and say, unlike us, or unlike our uh, uh, progenitor, you know, they're never gonna be able to do it. They don't have that same uh, drive, hard work, good family structure, uh, willingness uh, to endure uh, uh, adversity. Uh, and, and, and what's the problem? The problem is that they're poor, if we're talking about the Mexican well, uh, immigrants are, or they, Hispanics from Central America coming up, are they poorer than the not particularly. Europeans? Not particularly. In fact, um, I'd say the contemporary immigrants in the main are, funny, they're more highly educated than the um, you know, kind of classic uh, uh, long 19th century um, European immigrants. They know much more about America. They've probably been exposed. They've probably had their first uh, McDonald's uh, someplace else. Um, they're much more exposed to uh, American culture uh, than uh, the uh, previous wave uh, or, uh, era. And um, no, I don't think they're, they're poorer at all, but um, it's the perception. In other words, that's how they're. That's how uh, the I think the media make them out to be, and that's how the uh, uh, I think politicians of uh, certainly from the right uh, make them out to be. And in some ways, I'd say among um, academics who write about the contemporary immigration, I think they sort of have a little bit of a stake in saying that also. And um, and yet, you know, if you you know, place side by side these experiences, you find um, there's much greater continuity than uh, and, and similarity.
Thank you so much. Okay, great. Okay, good luck.